Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. And, folks, it's the year of the tiger. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. There we go. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. Doing your best means take action on your ideas. You can make many great ideas in your head, but without action upon an idea, there'll be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up a buck forty-six, Nasdaq's up twenty-eight, S and P's are up fifteen. Gold contract at three dollars and thirty cents, traded at seventeen ninety-nine notes. We get silver up 17 cents, $22.56 an ounce. Light sweet crude down 22 cents, $87.93 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10 year note, down four ticks, trading 127.27. 30 year down 12 at 155.08 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 159 ticks, trading 96.384. The euro is at 112. The yen is at 114.78. And the British pound is at 135 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Well, bottom line, here, we're going to look at the futures first. I suspect, well, let's look at them first. I suspect what you're going to see here, folks, you're going to see a nice run right into the close. And the first one just started. I got to see what the, yeah, there it is. Okay, here we go, baby. Okay, so check it out. Just when I was coming on, it just, they just popped it, right? So you can take the, the top of this, which is uh, 45.14. I can take the bottom of it, which is 44.74. So we get what, 40, that's 55. 45.55, folks. We're at 45.51. That's this where this thing wants to go. And we get plenty of time to do it. And I'm talking about the next hour. That's how these things shake out. That's in your S&P. Well, then let's go look at the SPY to see how this thing is setting up. So the setup here, is that, you know, it, it takes, well, first off, on the downdraft, there was no more selling. You know, you just kept hammering the bottom, bottom, bottom. You only get so much selling. Friday, you get the buy-in come in. We get the follow-through yesterday. Bottom line, you know, we're at a buck 91 right now. So another, yeah, you could go up to, I don't know, three bucks maybe, um, which is not, not the end of the world. But the way that these set up, I suspect you're going to get another monster bar. You know, I don't, I don't see it today, but, you know, next couple days, you're going to get another monster bar that's going to bring you up somewhere in the 473 area, and right now you're at uh, 451. We took, take a look at the NDX 100, the three Qs. The way the three Qs are set up right now, same type of setup. The three Qs, you know, got the lower price today, 359, rejected 359, you're at 363, bottom line, I expect the three Qs are going to get up to this uh, 378. And right now, we're at uh, 363. Now, now, let's look at the notes and bonds, because it looks to me that these notes and bonds are actually coming off the bottom. And they gave it up on price today. So let's just see. 1.4 million. Now, that's not enough contract volume. What would happen is that you want like 2 million contract volume. So this is going more of a consolidation. But yeah, we'll see. It's, it's more of a consolidation right now. I don't think I don't expect we're going to break that low because the the day before the low we had 2.5 million contracts then it did 1.9 uh, you come back down against the test it with 1.9 then you come back and went topside with 2.2 and today but bottom line gave it up on price this probably has to build more calls going sideways until it wants higher price that's on your 10 year we take a look at the 30 year. Thirty year out here goes like this. That's down eleven ticks. Let's see, we got two hundred and fifty-three thousand contracts. That's also going to need more contract volume. Yeah, they both. But I, you know, we'll we'll see if this is banging out a bottom. But that's what it looks like to me. Gold. We take a look at the gold contract out here, and it's going to be all about the U.S. dollar again. What's intriguing with gold too is this. So, so the, the, let's watch this for a second because this is pretty cool. So, <coughs> excuse me, folks. You know, GC. GCJ. Okay, so we're in the April contract. You're up three dollars and seventy cents. This thing was as high as uh, eighteen oh nine. Now watch what it did. 
I was listening to Basil this morning. It was pretty cool. He was explaining that, yeah, it's coming right up to the 200 day. And the bottom line is that it gave it up. And that's, it absolutely did. That being said, I kind of dig it like that. And this is why. What happens in, in, well, in, in any market, but normally when you're going up to a 200 day from underneath, the bottom line, you get to it, you mess around a little, you build a little more cars, and then you blast through that like crazy. Because you have plenty of people, no doubt, selling right at the 200 day. That's going to be a normal situation. You break a 200 day, you go back topside. Because most times, folks, if the S&P breaks a 200 day like it has, the bottom line here, let me show you this for a second. So if I do the cash, I believe it broke the 200 day. Let me just see. Because when you break it, yeah, broken spades. So what happens is this. When you break a 200-day, right, you, you snap right above it. Bottom line, it not only just doesn't break it once. This is more than likely, I suspect, you know, we're going to get higher. And we're going to either come down and test the lows that were generated out here on the uh, 24th. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. And I do, I, I feel great. My voice is still there, but I feel great. Um, so... You can either test the lows or you get a larger ABC structure on the way down. I just wanted to show you the 200 day, um, how you do normally. That's what you normally do. If you're going to break it, the bottom line is that you're going to blast through that like a huge. King dollar. What do we got with King dollar? What we have with King dollar is this. King dollar right now, this baby had follow through. You're inside the range again. So the, the range, the top of the range is 96,936. Now, what's really cool here today, folks, if you are in the metals market, is that King Dollar tried to make it back. King Dollar got as high as 96.722 and then just gave up four, 400 ticks. That is a good setup. And what that setup basically is laying out is that, you know, 89 is game. And you, when, when you have a false break after so much consolidation, um, you can go right back to the beginning of the move. And the beginning of the move in the U.S. dollar was a few years ago at the 89 level. And yes, it can take a few years, but that's where it looks like it's going to be. Dow Industrials right now up by 160. You get the Nasdaq up 28. S&P is up 17. So you get the year of the Tiger today. And do you know what tomorrow is, folks? Tomorrow is a national holiday. It's Tom O'Brien the Fort's first birthday. Number one. Gotta love it. You gotta love this world, man. Stay right there. We'll come right back.